19 people have been taken to hospital with suspected Irukandji stings in Queensland so far this season, which is almost double the 10-year average. Tonight, a rescue helicopter has arrived at Fraser Island to treat two more people with suspected Irukandji stings. Fraser Island is a postcard destination, but beachgoers are warned that there are deadly Irukandji jellyfish in the surrounding ocean. Yesterday, two people were flown to hospital with suspected marine stings. And in the past two weeks, a total of eight people have been evacuated from Fraser Island by rescue helicopter because of this one centimetre long animal. It's not fun. Uh, 10 out of 10 on the pain scale, nausea, vomiting, difficulty breathing, um, profuse drenching, sweating, uh, a feeling of impending doom. Dr Lisa Gershwin from the Marine Stinger Authority says on average there are 10 cases of Irukandji stings at this point in the season. But this summer there has been 19 and they're not limited to the Fraser Coast. This has been an amazing season. There's no real hot spot this year. We've had stings in the Whitsundays, multiple stings there. We've had numerous stings in the Cairns region. You know, we've had stings all up and down the Queensland coast. The recent hot weather and onshore winds are contributing factors, but they're not the only reason for the spike. Dr Gershwin says there have been low numbers of Irukandji in the past few summers, so it's natural for them to have a boom year. You think about the flowers in your garden and, you know, from year to year they vary. Some years you get a lot of flowers, some years you barely get any flowers and your jellyfish are the same way. In the southeast, the common blue bottle jellyfish are washing up in their hundreds. It's much worse than last year. Every day over all the beaches on the Gold Coast, there's, uh, there's hundreds and hundreds. Each beach you could e easily have between one or two hundred. And we have uh, almost 40 beaches open every day. The hermaphrodite packs a nasty sting and can be serious for people who are allergic to bees or wasps. They cause a lot of trouble. They really hurt. There's not much we can do to prevent them. With northwesterly winds expected to continue until the end of the week, armadas or blue bottles are likely to keep washing up along the Queensland coast. Lucy Murray, ABC News.